feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them. If you're coming for me. It's week 14 of the 2026 season, and we've got the Dolphins leader at quarterback. As he's moved past 3,000 yards passing for the year and looking for more, it's the Dolphins and the Jets under the lights on Thursday night. We are about 15 or so miles northwest of world famous. <laughs> trying to stake their claim to postseason football. Week 14 of the NFL is underway. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by the number one overall pick back in 2020 from LSU. It's Joe Burrow. I guess we have to nickname him the thrower, aren't we, or something After like that. After last week? I mean, man, you're talking about over 400 yards throwing the ball. The running backs and everyone else may be looking at him like, hey, don't forget us. <laughs> and he probably just tell him, listen, you want to get involved? Go out. Go out and catch some passes. I'll make sure you touch it. They begin the drive with Williams. And get what he can up the middle, three yards. And that'll bring up second down. The numbers for Williams a week ago, pretty good as he found himself in the end zone on two separate occasions. And those are the most important numbers because no matter what you pile up prior to the goal line, getting in is all that matters. Putting those numbers up on the board, and they love them when they're sixes. This one completes Alec Pierce. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a Jets first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. They'll stay on the ground with Williams. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, Burrow. He finds Pierce, it's complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That's good for a Jet first down, a gain of 13. Now how about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left sideline, and you know the timing's got to be correct on this one. Ball's got to be right where it needs to be, and it was. That's because he had great arm strength on that one, able to drive the football. Quarterbacks love it when they can show off their arms. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. On second and 12, Burrow. Toward the sideline, and that is a nice catch as he's able to tiptoe his way out of bounds. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. He's got his man, it's Pierce. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Charles Thursday night game. I think a lot of teams probably say to shrink the playbook somewhere. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook, pick out the plays that work best for you. And you know what else you're looking for? What's that? Who are the freshest guys coming off of the last game to play on a Thursday night? Guys have a little extra pep in their step. You go to them early and often. Delivers another one to Pierce. 
And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. On second down, Williams. And he's going to be hemmed in and blocked down right at the line of scrimmage. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. That's going to be caught along the sideline, and what a job of keeping his feet in bounds. They say that's a catch. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. <laughs> I can't help but chuckle a little bit because at this point, it can't be a surprise to anyone in the building who's going to get the ball. They just keep feeding him over and over, and he just keeps on delivering. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. That's complete to Pierce. Touchdown! Alec Pierce with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Jets will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Looking sharp on that first drive. These guys, of course, coming off back-to-back -back victories. And you see that kind of advancing into this game, don't you? You certainly do. And when you have a team that doesn't get too full of itself, even though they've won two games in a row, you get the end result that we saw there, that nice opening drive because they're sharp, they're focused, and they're locked into everything that they're doing. The extra point up and good, and that makes the score 7-0. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. And trotting out there, leading them is their fourth-year quarterback. That was a solid performance last week, wasn't it? Two touchdowns, no interceptions, ran the team well, won the ball game, bottom line. May not have been earth-shattering, but it didn't need to be. They started on the ground with Eckler. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 20 carries, 65 yards, and a touchdown as well. Well, obviously, he didn't have a great deal of time between games, having to turn around on a short week and get ready for Thursday night football. But he said in pregame, he was feeling pretty good and felt more recovered. And the pressure gets to Lawrence, and he'll go down. Caleb on chase on. And there to drop him for his 11th sack of the year. Just not much a quarterback can do there, CD. The pressure was in his face almost instantaneously, led to a very quick sack. Yeah, that's one where you turn to your lineman and say, uh, guys, can I get a little help here? And you have to ask politely, because remember, they're blocking for you the entire game. But as a quarterback, you've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. Yeah, the next-gen stat's going to illustrate just how quickly a quarterback has to process everything as he was on the ground in under three seconds, 2.9 to be precise. A 47-yard punt, maybe a couple on the return. And the Jets will take over first and 10. Back on the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. And listen, these Thursday night games, they're tough on the body. You just played on Sunday, 72 hours later. Hey, it's game day again. But I have to think a Thursday night game in September much more preferable than a Thursday nighter in December, no? Oh, there's no doubt about it. You mentioned how tough it is on the body. How about the mind? You're already tired, fatigued, right? Trying to battle for playoff spots. And here you have the quick turnaround. Now the flip side is, if you take care of business, win that Thursday nighter, you go into a mini open week. Gives you a few extra days to heal up the body and the mind before you play your next game. Burrow on third down. Complete to likely. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. The drive stays alive, a third down gain of eight. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down.
On first and ten, Joe Burrow. He has it complete to Christian Watson. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive. It comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. Now a dump off here complete. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. Well, he was a busy man out of the backfield a week ago. They got the ball early and often. I have no doubt in my mind that he'll be a big part of the game plan here as well. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. They'll run out of the gun here, Williams. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And Brandon, you know that expression? He just does what he does. <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. No room to be had there on the first down run as he's lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. They run it again with Williams. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Ninth play of the drive coming up. And certainly not an easy one on third and long. Now it's Burrow. And this is going to be incomplete. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. And his kick here is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So another scoring drive there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three. And I think they have to be happy about the way they moved the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result had he opted for the touchback. So the Dolphins offense heading out as we give you a look at the playoff race in the AFC. Now the current playoff picture, and you can see they are one of those three wild card teams, at least for the moment, but they have not clinched that spot, Charles. And look, their message has been clear. We're keeping our foot on the gas to the very end. And how about the theater and the drama that's involved, partner? The best part, we've got a front row seat to it all. And I think this is obviously the ultimate goal when they had the seven seeds of the playoffs back in 2020. More drama, more teams in it late in the season, and more importance on games like this. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. It appears he'll be a few inches short, so nine yards on the gain officially, and it'll be third down. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler, and he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter from Miami. It's the Dolphins with the football as they've got it with a first and 10. Here comes Mooney now in the jet sweep. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Holding. Offense. Offense. That time, the right guard sending him backwards. And so many different types of guys rotate in on the defensive line now, depending on situations. You can get the bulky guy, the fast guy. No matter what, though, you can't hold them. Brings up 
Throwing on second and long. Lawrence. Quick hitter here. It's complete. They'll give him four yards there. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. Lawrence will throw. And he fires one, but incomplete. That looks like it's going to be two empty possessions now to start this football game. I think they're going to have to sit down and talk about what worked for them last week in their win. Sometimes you over game plan, overthink things, get back to what works. We'll call that a 49-yard punt, but a net of just 39 following the 10-yard return. And the Jets will take over. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. As mentioned, this one of the hottest teams in the NFL, riding that winning streak into this one, but now playing here on Thursday night. Do you think that this helps or hurts their momentum? Well, ordinarily, I'd say it hurts the momentum because now you get that short week. But when a team's playing as well as they are, it actually allows them to down focus and only worry about themselves and less about their opponent. So when you're playing well, you just worry about the things you're doing well and let the opponent deal with that. Burrow will throw. He finds his man complete. It's Pierce. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. Finds his man over the middle, it's likely. Looking to throw again on second down. Burrow, and that's off the mark, incomplete. The offense on third down today, they have been superb. Five for six to this point. This is third and four. Again, it's Burrow. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Williams. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. But it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. Tress Way on fourth down is sent out to punt. He'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Out comes the Dolphin offense now as they get set to take over here. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Here's Lawrence. And he whips that one incomplete there. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Lawrence to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. On uh, fourth down, Ryan Stonehouse on to punt. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. So possession goes over here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? From the 30 on second down, Burrow. And Burrow going to be hit and taken down. They got him. 
Jonathan Allen never giving up. He works his way to the QB for a loss of 12. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. The Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. Now it's Burrow. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return, and it'll be Dolphin football. Miami set to take over. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. Let's we'll see if they can do better here on this drive. Running on first down, Eckler. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Here's Lawrence to throw. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. And they're going to get this up to midfield. The Dolphins hit 9-3 and three here on the year. They've been playing their best football of the year, winners of four in a row. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. Now a give running left is Eckler. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Here comes Mooney now in the jet sweep. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. Third and two. Now Lawrence. Got his man, Robbie Anderson. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Call it a gain of a yard, and it'll be fourth down. If this were baseball, we'd call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down, but the defense rallies to the football and stops him short, bringing up a fourth down. And this is good from 57 yards out. That is bangs away right there. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. So they're content to take the three. Some of the conservative call there at the not to go for it on fourth and inches. And that's from a team that you and I know is not usually playing it close to the vest. It's a little bit of a surprise that they opted for the three instead of going for it. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The New York set to take the field. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. So, Charles, this defense, you know, they definitely know that they've got their hands full here going up against a group that has won seven straight. What's the key for them in this ball game? Well, we asked their defensive coordinator that very question, and the response was, we have the mindset that they actually have to react to us, not the other way around. So it sounds to me like the plan is to do the attacking and not wait to see what they present to them. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave them trying to convert on third and nine. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow completes a likely on the out route. And he's going to get this to the 31, but that is still well short of what he needed. So just three yards on the completion there. And that's going to make it fourth down. Excellent job there defensively. Gave up the underneath to the tight end on third down. And they made sure that they did their job. Got him on the ground and prevented him picking up a first down. Now the former Oklahoma Sooner, Tress Way, on to punt the football. And 
the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And they will take over first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. He'll get a yard. That's all as they get him down at the 28. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now Lawrence. And this will be caught by Mooney. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. On the screen, this is Eckler. And he'll lose yardage here back at the 41. They'll wind up losing three here on the play. And just like that, it's third down. Time to give a little credit here. That was an excellent read by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Oh, you're crediting your defense. Got to credit them on that one because they tried to fool them, right? Tried to trick them, ran a screen, and they went to it and smothered it for a loss of yardage. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. Finding Knox there, complete. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Throwing again here. It's Lawrence getting the ball to Anderson here on the out route. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. On first and 10, it's Lawrence. And this one nearly picked off. Well, kind of surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. That's complete to Mooney. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. Found his target. It's Anderson. And the Dolphins are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. The quick slant caught. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. On second and goal, Lawrence. And this is going to be intercepted. And the Jets are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one-possession game, and that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning into points for the other side. So time perhaps for one final kneel down before they take this lead to the locker room. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Jets on top as we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you two in just a moment. First, we just want to give everybody a look ahead to what's in store for us this weekend as we enter the final month of this NFL season. Good matchups all up and down the schedule there. We'll highlight the one in Cincinnati. A big test coming up for the Bengals as they'll have to contend with the visiting Pittsburgh Steelers. In the late afternoon games, the place to be might very well be Denver, Colorado, where it'll be the Broncos taking on the New England Patriots. And finally, a good one on Sunday night football between the Chicago Bears and the Tampa Bay Bucks. On now to a look at the next-gen stats for the Jets in that first half. And even though they've got a halftime lead, they're likely devising ways as we speak to try and get a little more production from their passing game. Meanwhile, for the Dolphins, they did not have quite the same amount of success in the passing game that their counterparts did, as you get a look at the numbers there. 
Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Taken in at the three. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. On third down, Lawrence. A bullet throw, but incomplete. Well, the passing windows are just not there. And that's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top 10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. That'll be a 44-yard boot, just a yard on the return as he's covered up quickly. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Here's the Jets offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I think it's pretty evident we can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. On second and 12, Burrow on target to his man, likely. And he's taken down. It's a gain of three from the 17 to the 20. On third down, Burrow. And this one is incomplete. Here's Tressway now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. Let's take it inside his own 40. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. The Dolphins offense now heads back on the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Throwing again on second down. Lawrence, he'll drop this one off to Eckler. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Now Lawrence. Open man is Anderson. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Up the middle with Eckler, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Off the play fake, here's Lawrence. This is swung out to Eckler, and he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Lawrence. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down, although it doesn't appear to be by much. He needed four, and he got four on third down. Now, these two teams faced off earlier in the year, right around mid
the season back in week nine. And it was the visitors getting the win there, so they'll be looking for the sweep back here at home. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. They go back to the ground now with Eckler. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Eckler going to get it again on second down. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. 45 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out and picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. It's Eckler again. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. The last run got 6. Now second and 4. On second down, Spiller looking for space. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of 2, third and 1. A gain of 2. Lawrence on third down. And he's got it. And the Dolphins are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Lawrence will throw. And he's going to be swallowed up and taken down. Sacked back at the five-yard line. Not the first and goal play they drew up. Multiple defenders in to bring him down to the ground. Well, surprise, surprise. First and goal at the one. No quarterback sneak. No running play. They decide to throw for it, but the pressure got to him quickly and put the quarterback down. Back at the five-yard line now, second and goal. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. On third and goal, Lawrence. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Two yards on the pickup. Interesting decision here on fourth and goal. There certainly was a lot going on on that play. Every option in the end zone covered. No place to go with the ball. Had to swing it out to the back. A good job running and getting him tackled in the open field. And they'll try and throw for it with Lawrence. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. John Almoni, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Dolphins' decision to go for it pays off with six points. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. What's good on the extra point? And we are even at 10 apiece. All level now with 10 apiece as the kick's away. Anthony Schwartz going to bring it out. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Another drive coming up for New York's offense. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and ten. Now Burrow. Over the middle here. It's hauled in by Watson. They'll run the jet sweep here with Pierce. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. 
They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. A toss to the wide side. This is Williams. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter. No time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That's good for a Jet first down, a gain of 13. Just a terrific run there, Charles, from a running back who is so compact and powerful, and that strength was on display there. Yeah, and that's a run born out of ferociousness. He took on that initial contact and in his mind just screamed, out of my way, and kept right on going and wound up turning it into a big play. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 46. And now they will throw it with Burrow. Complete to Likely. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second down at six now from the 42. Play action. It's Burrow. No hesitation. Goes right back to Likely. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. First down. Here's Burrow. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And this ball incomplete. Uh, looked very much to be a catchable ball and could not hang on. Second down coming up. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And the question now, can they get closer on third down? A field goal from here, you're looking at right about a 52-yarder. Here's Burrow. That's complete. It's Rashad Bateman. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 22-yard line. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Both teams working on short rest, but this has been one of the better Thursday night games we've seen as they come up here on first and ten. They'll run the jet sweep here with Pierce. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. On second and nine, Burrow. Able to hook up with Williams here on the out route. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Now it's Burrow. Open man is Bateman. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They'll get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. Burrow looking to pass. This one finds Pierce on the out route. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. A terrible spot for a holding call as he'll try again, but now from further back on first and goal. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. Catch made by Watson on the out route. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the seven. 
Second down and goal. Burrow. Yeah, quick throw here. That's complete. A lot of tired bodies on that field. But this is a big play. Third and goal. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Christian Watson from four yards out. And the Jets answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. So, Charles, this game feels like it has been punch, counterpunch all throughout. And that touchdown breaks our tie here in the fourth quarter. You're making me want to get back in the gym and start training again. You talk about those punches and counter punches. I also think this is where you and I start thinking to ourselves, who's going to make the play to change that, right? Who's going to get out of this little cycle that they're in right now and make a play and give their team a firm advantage? The Jets kick team out now to boot this one away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. And as this offense makes their way back out, it's AFC playoff race time as we give you a look. And as we take a look at the playoff picture, certainly still a lot of jostling to go in these final few weeks. For the moment, they would be a wild card team far from locked up but that's that's why this is exciting these last few weeks a lot to play for so much to play for and remember seven teams in each conference go to the playoffs instead of six and not to mention remember when the league made that move a few seasons ago to put divisional games at the end of the year so you get to week 16 and 17 you're playing for playoff spots and you're playing divisional games couldn't be more exciting than that and the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. On first down, Lawrence. On the screen, this is Eckler. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. To throw again on second down. Lawrence firing quickly, but it's incomplete. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for it, precise, because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I mean, let's face it's not just West Coast offense either. He's putting the ball downfield as well. And he'll have a Dolphins first down as good running gets him to about the 44. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Once more, here's Eckler. And down inside the 40 to about the 38. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Here's Lawrence to throw. That's caught right side by Anderson. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. And a stoppage here. We're going to need to take a moment as a jet was shaken up on that one. We'll get an update when we come back to Hard Rock Stadium. So first and 10 now from the 30. Eckler now between the tackles to the 27 yard line. From the 27, Lawrence. And he's just gonna get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. On third down, Lawrence found his target. It's Anderson. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 15-yard line. 12 yards on third down as the drive rolls on. 
I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. This is swung out to Eckler. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. Holding offense. offense. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. And able to work his way down to the 16. They run behind center with Spiller. He's down inside the 10 to the 8. And it comes on a gain of 8. So two of two on third down conversions on this drive, and now they face a third and three here. And that is caught. Touchdown Miami. Tim Patrick from eight yards out. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. But we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. Seventeen the score, all even to this point as the kicks away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown, all tied up in the fourth quarter. And a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. On first and ten, Joe Burrow. Escaping the pressure right. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. From the 29, Burrow. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. That is caught for Sean Bateman. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That one good for 24 yards. And that throw there going to put him over 4,000 yards passing now for the season, maybe strengthening his MVP consideration. And you figure with still a handful of games left to play, 5,000 yards is not totally out of the realm of possibility. The way he is playing, I think he's going to get there. Off the play fake, here's Burrow. He's got his man, it's Pierce. They like going to him in the slot, he catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well, great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Looking to throw again on second down. Burrow, and he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. That was a nicely run slant route. What the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. The busy night continues for Williams. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. 42 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 16 times. Brandon, this can be so demoralizing for a defense. They've had two opportunities to get off the field. They haven't gotten it done. So now your coordinator, he's going to call every blitz that he has, any type of exotic, something that they haven't seen before. And he's also telling the defensive lineman, don't worry about holding people up. Just get in gaps and try and make a big play. And not only not getting off the field on two opportunities, clock continuing to run. 
All tied up, less than two minutes to go. So it's Jets football as we get your reset here. They've got it first and 10 as they search for a go-ahead score. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. Credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They'll stay on the ground with Williams. And he'll be taken down just shy of the red zone at the 21. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. They'll run out of the gun here, Williams. And he gets this down to the 18, good enough for a first down. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Now carry number 20 of the game, here's Williams. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Now we give up the middle to Williams. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. That play gets him six yards and sets them up with a first and goal. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. A game-winning field goal would be a chip shot from here. Let's see how they play it on first and goal. They'll try and run. This is Williams. He'll get six on the ground there, and it'll be second and goal coming up. They'll run it with Williams. And that's a touchdown as they broken our tie here in the final minute of the fourth. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. Now the extra point try forthcoming. And they will take a seven-point lead now. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And it was capped off by a Javante Williams touchdown. This will be fielded inside the five. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. So the Dolphins now down by seven. At time, a huge factor. A possible crippling loss to their playoff status in the balance, barring a late score. Here's Lawrence. He's got Eckler. And they'll get him down after a gain of seven, but they'll happily give him that. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Now one final throw here is incomplete, and that is how this one will come to an end. And a fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall. So for the Jets, the win moves them to 12-1 and now on the year. And they'll have a few extra days here now before they face the Lions next week. Meanwhile, for the Dolphins, it's a loss that could have implications on the playoff race as they fall to 9-4. And, and they'll get a chance to redeem themselves.
you the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you coming for me, 